So good evening and welcome to our debate about the TV and internet. Looking forward to hearing you guys' ideas about this. Now just waiting for some students to show up. Hello, Mary Lynn. Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm okay. How are you? I'm also fine. Good. Did it cool, um, cool off a little bit where you are? Yeah, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Because it was terrible. Yeah, oh, I know. <laughs> oh, it's really hot, really hot. And hello, Alexander. Hello. Hello, how are you? I am uh, good, and you? Not bad, thank you. Has it cooled off where you are? Has, sorry? Has it cooled off? Cooled off cold? No, I'll type it for you, Alexander, so you understand. More cool. More cold. Not so hot. Yeah, yeah. But Alexander don't uh, head uh, call uh, how the temperature. Ah, oh, maybe Alexander has it been has it been hot where you are? It was uh, maybe weeks ago, week ago. Mm -hmm. yeah. How hot was it? About thirty. Just thirty. Yes. Oh, never mind. <laughs> We need to come visit you. Sorry? We need to visit you, Alexander. It was like 37 here. 37? Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mary, the same for you, right? Yeah. But now it's much more better. But it's not in the sun. It, in the sun, I don't know. Uh, but it was really hot. Today in the morning we had just 16. Oh, oh. it's cold. <laughs> That's nice. It's been windy here. We've been getting a lot of wind. The sun is shining, but it's real windy. At least in my area. Did you? Do you have wind too, Mary? Uh, I don't know. I I think no because I, I can't see wind. Some on the sun. Maybe yesterday, not today, but I mean like yesterday, the day before. Yes, uh, I uh, have uh, been in outside yesterday and mm -hmm. uh, I saw him. You know, Alexander, when you uh, go for in Crimea, uh, it will be uh, cold because now it's uh, colder and colder. You think so? Yeah, not maybe so cold, but uh, it's not so hot now. And I uh, won't able to swim. I'm not sure, <laughs> <laughs> but it depends on which uh, temperature comfortable for you. Temperature of water. Oh, oh I don't know. <laughs> so, Alexander, you're going to Crimea. Yes, I am going to Crimea. Uh -huh. What part? I think I will visit uh, all ice, semi-ice. Uh, uh, what? How long? I, oh, ice island. 
um, how long? Yeah. Um, a week. A week. <laughs> you know, it's uh, uh, and uh, you can't do it for one week, <laughs> really, because <laughs> sometimes only one uh, one city uh, have. Um, you should spend time on only one city. It's one week. If you want to see you know, all things, you know, yeah. I, I I can recommend you uh, visit it, uh, Fyodosia and uh, Ivazovsky Museum. It's a really cool place. Fyodosia is a nice place. I agree. Fyodosia, okay, I will follow your advice. But device. Museum. Museum. museum, museum. Museum. museum, museum, museum. Mm -hmm. Ivazovsky. It's yes. really so cool. Uh, and what about this uh, museum? Uh, it's about sea. Uh, is this artist? Uh, how to say? Uh, draw or not? Drew. Me, drew. I uh, see. But it's so wonderful. Really, it's my favorite artist, and uh, I think all people who uh, seen this agree with me because it's really. Wonderful masterpiece and really a huge size. Um, you know, one wall and it's all sea and it's really wonderful masterpieces. Okay, and what interesting in uh, Feodosia? Uh, it's small, small town, but it's really cool. You can see. Um, I don't know. I can't uh, maybe explain it. So it's only you. You should to see. And if you will be in Sevastopol, you should visit it Fialent. Yeah, it's also so cool. It's wonderful water and really clean uh, beach and cool. But uh, one maybe uh, one luck. It's um, you have uh, turn on. I know go on on the stairs and uh, the stairs is uh, nine hundred stairs. I've done this, Mary Lynn. I also done with backpack, but it's so cool place. It's really clean and wonderful place. Yeah, I I've been to that beach. Yeah. Oh, the those nine hundred stairs kill you though. Coming up, going down is not so hard, but coming back up. But, but you know, know, Alexander, not far from the beach, there's a great place that sells donuts. <laughs> If you like donuts, I like. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. And when are you going? Um, after week. Oh, in a week. In a week. Yeah. Uh huh. So, Alexandra, would you like to maybe write me an invitation and 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 take me along to show you everything in Sarastopol and tell you everything in English? Uh, sorry, I didn't get. <laughs> I said, would you like to write me an invitation so I can go with you and be your tour guide in English? Uh, tour guide in, in English? <laughs> okay, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it would take me a long time now to get there. Uh, anyway. Aren't you in Ukraine? No? I am in Ukraine. Ah. Mm -hmm. But my passport is not Ukrainian. Oh. Yeah. So that's why I need you to make me an invitation. Oh. The last time I was in Crimea, I went to Sudok. Oh. Almost three years ago. Hmm? I also visited, but uh, I visited, um, you know, uh, Halitsinska three. Oh, no. I don't know how to say road. It's some um, tourist uh, place, and you can see uh, I don't know <laughs> some many different well, different beaches, and uh, it's also interesting. But hmm. not, not, it's you know in this part of Crimea, it's so hot and uh, so dry. But if in uh, West Crimea, it's more I don't know more. Better beach, I think. Yeah. Like and, and hmm. It was fine when I went. I didn't go for very long, but anyway. Oh, some mountain cool in Crimea. 
but you one week it's not enough for mount and then to see so Ale alexander is this your first time in crimea yes that's first ah, time first time and first time in this year really yes c c c mm -hmm. oh interesting are you going with friends or family? I'm going uh, uh, alone to travel, to, uh, to fly alone. But in the Crimea, I will I will meet a friend. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so you're flying to Crimea? Yes. Uh huh. I see. Because it's so far from me. Oh, that's true. It's far even from here. By train, it's like 16, I think, almost hours just to get to Simferopol or something like this. Or 14 hours. And, and we don't have a uh, straight train. Uh, we should change train to bus and to Parum. Ah, uh, I see. Okay, yeah, that's, yeah, traveling by train takes a long time, even even here, so I can understand that. <clears throat> okay, well, we're going to start actually on our topic for today. First of all, let me ask you, um, Alexander, do you have a TV? TV, I have it, but I don't uh, watch it. Okay. Okay, Marilyn, I don't remember. Do you have a TV? No. Uh, no, I have a TV, but it's broken. Okay. So you both have TVs, but you don't watch them. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to give you a few facts about the TV. Not a lot, just a few. Um, do you know when the first TV was made, Alexander? Do you know? Oh, I don't remember. Mm. Maybe it's uh, in the middle of last age. I don't remember when exactly. Okay, Marilyn, any ideas? When? Mm hmm. Oh, um, maybe, yeah, it's 15, no, 16. 16th year. 16th year when? 60. Ah, no, actually, the first TV that ever was really into production was in the late 1920s, 20s. like 28, 29, okay, in the 1960s is when they, they um, started to make color programming, it was always just black and white, and then in the 1960s, they started to make color TV. All right, Marilyn, do you remember your first TV? My first TV? Mm -hmm. uh, of course. Uh, no, I don't remember. I, I remember second one. Oh. But first, I don't remember. Okay, okay. Then your second one. When did you maybe first get a TV? But uh, when I um, was born, uh, we have, um, I don't know, two TV in different rooms, and it's because it was popular, everybody has TV. Okay, was your TV black and white, or was it color? No, it was color. Oh, okay. All right. Alexander, do you remember your first TV, or second? This when I was born, it was black white TV. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Okay, were you real little? Yes, I was real little. Okay, I remember when my dad bought like a big color TV. I was maybe about eight years old, I think, something like this. And the TV we had before was black and white. And you didn't even have a remote yet. You had to turn it by hand to get it to get it to work. Okay, so you guys, first of all, let's talk about um, 
Okay, since Marilyn, since your TV is broken, and Alexander, you never watch your t your TV. Yes. Uh, oh no, no, I don't. You don't. <laughs> okay, but Alexander, when did you used to watch TV? When I used. To. Used to. Uh, in the past, when did you used to watch TV? I don't remember. Maybe five years ago. Okay, and five years ago, how often would you say you used to watch TV? Uh, a reunion after job. After work. After work. Okay, and Mary Lynn, when your TV wasn't broken, how often did you watch TV? Not often. I uh, used to watch uh, news and play in guitar. <laughs> it's my tradition. Was but uh, once I switch. Uh, switch it on and it it's broken so and it's okay <laughs> <laughs> I, I stopped doing it okay um do you, did you have or do you have a favorite TV show Alexander what favorite was your favorite TV, TV show mm -hmm. my favorite TV show is um Kavayan, I think Kavayan. K V N. Yeah. yeah. What is it about? Um, it's about a uh, group of people <laughs> uh, who does uh, show, <laughs> a funny show. It's like a comedy club. Have you heard it? Mm hmm. Okay. All right. And Mary Lynn, what about you? Do you have a favorite TV show? I'm doing yours. <laughs> Because I don't know, my, I don't have nervous for other program because I start uh, say something. Why you say this? Because it's sometimes it's wrong, sometimes it's stupid, and I switch off <laughs> because I can't okay. see anything. Okay, so you only watch you only watch the news. Yeah. Okay. But now nothing. Okay. Hello, Michael. Hello, Madeline. Hi. Um, do you have a TV? Yeah, I have it. Okay. How often do you watch it? Some, uh, I don't watch it especially, but maybe uh, only when I eat, I turn it on, like, uh, for the ground. Okay. Um, okay. Do you have a favorite TV show? TV show? Mm. Mm hard to say. I, 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 sometimes I like um, to find in the internet, uh, you know, program. BBC uh, makes uh, different programs about, uh, maybe, maybe it's, uh, it's a kind of uh, show, TV show, maybe about art, about okay. different countries. Uh, so. Okay, it's interesting. You actually watch TV on the internet, something we will talk about too during today's lesson. Okay. Yeah. So, um, Mary Lynn, um, have you, you, uh, you never watched like maybe any type of comedy club, yes, or anything, or any sit type of sitcom? No, maybe I, I watch it, but I don't like it. Mm, okay, okay, all right. So, um... What do you think? Are there any advantages of watching TV? Advantages. Advantages. What's maybe something good about watching TV? Something good, thing, you know, and no, 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 not any use like TV shows, yeah. It's a kind of uh, rest, I think. Uh, you can, uh, if you maybe are tired, uh, you can turn it on and uh, like um, have a rest. Yeah. Okay, so it helps you relax. Relax, yeah. Uh -huh. Helps you to relax. Okay. 
All right, Mary Lynn, what about you? Are, do you know of any advantages to watching TV? Maybe Are there any? It can ruin your mind. For advantages because people don't choose what they want and only don't think. Absolutely, that's why they can uh, can be more stupid. No, no advantages right yeah, now, and, not disadvantages. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I don't know what advantages. Only waste of time. <laughs> you only know disadvantages of watching TV. Yeah. Okay. No, before internet, of course, because you can uh, maybe find some information about something. But now, when we have internet and we can choose all program and news and everything what we uh, want, want uh, so it's unuseful. Okay. Okay, Marilyn, did you ever watch Yarolash, for example? When I was a child, yes. Uh huh. Okay. But um, tell me, is there much educational programming on TV? I don't know because uh, if I uh, saw it, if I will see it now, I think it's. Uh, oh no! If I see it now, it uh, will be different. Because now I, I can um, emphasize. No. Now I, I maybe I have different criteria, or how to I don't know understand it. Maybe different interests now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Alexander, any advantages to watching TV? One advantage is uh, we shouldn't pay for internet. We just can watch and not to pay for anything. Okay, so it's cheaper than the internet. <laughs> anything else as an advantage to watching TV? To kill time if it's too boring, to have fun. Okay, very good. To kill time. <laughs> and of course, Mary Lynn said to waste time. Kind of, kind of has a similar meaning, but you used it differently. And very good, Alexander, you did use an idiom this week. Congratulations. <laughs> to kill time. <laughs> no, which remember, it was part of your homework assignment. Okay. Is there educational programming, do you think, Alexander? Is there anything educational on TV? Educational? Educational. Uh, in past, I watched uh, a lot of educational programs like English and, uh, and other foreign languages and uh, schools, subjects like geography, uh, astronomy. But now I can't see, I don't know why, it's such programs. But maybe there are some, I don't know. Okay. Michael, have you, do you know of any educational programs on TV? On TV? Mm -hmm. Not the internet TV, but the actual TV itself. Yeah. <laughs> it's too hard to remember. Mm -hmm. I forget the uh, oh, uh, is it name uh, when uh, ch children from school ask uh, on different uh, questions on the, in a different field. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it can be about yeah maybe maybe with children sometimes with adults maybe with different characters. I I forgot. Um, the name of this program. Okay, uh, but you know, uh, as I see in in internet, you can find uh, much more. Yes, well, and we're we're going to talk about that. One TV show when I was growing up was called Sesame Street. This was very educational for children. You can learn to color. Uh, you learned your colors, I mean, you learned how to count, you learned the alphabet. And actually, a lot of foreigners in the United States learned to speak English by watching this program. <laughs> it's been on for more than 40 years, I think. It's still on TV. 
you can still find it on TV. Okay, uh, YouTube if you want to find it on the internet. <laughs> okay, um, so Marilyn, what are the disadvantages then of TV? Uh, sometimes, you know, today I saw when uh, I'm sewing and I uh, watching some program. It uh, was uh, show it showing in ORT and about culture and about artists. And when I uh, saw it, it, it was terrible because uh, there's uh, so many wrong factors about uh, actors and it really irritated me. I don't know why it's in the culture channel they can show this and uh, give people wrong information. And I don't know why they do it because it's different between BBC, it's absolutely, it's normal program but sometimes uh, I don't know why they uh, disturbing information. So that's why I don't understand. It's one disadvantage, it's disturbing information on TV. And uh, disadvantage is that people don't choose and only um, think what they, so they can they watch showing on TV and don't think. Okay, so like m mindless viewing. Okay, I'm going to type it. Yeah, unconsciousness, I don't know. Uh, do it. Um, you can also use it this way. Mindless viewing of TV. It, it means the same thing. You don't think about it. Okay. okay. You're just mindlessly viewing the TV without any thoughts. Mm -hmm. Okay, Alexander, disadvantage of TV. Disadvantage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We can get uh, false information and to believe in it. Um, yes. Mm. And we can waste our time. It's like uh, not it's like a drug. We uh, get we get used to wash it without stand up and walk. <laughs> Just washing, washing. Okay, it can become an addiction. Okay, all right. Michael, can you think of anything else? Maybe the disadvantages of TV. Uh, I think the main disadvantage is if uh, you cannot see mm -hmm. uh, any program or video or like on demand. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh huh. Well, what about? Mm -hmm. You need to wait uh, uh, when and uh, if it's uh, like a TV show, you need to uh, do it every week and wait uh, maybe months for uh, to to see uh, some programs. But uh, in internet, it's opposite. Yeah, you can do it in one day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can, you can find exactly what episode you want usually, and watch it at a more convenient time. Okay, what? Uh, also, I think uh, you know uh, we have um, on the part we can see. Okay, is is Michael frozen for you guys too, or just me? No, it's Michael. Okay, that's why I'm asking. Uh, all right, we'll get back to him in just a minute. I was going to ask you about advertising, advertisements. Would you say that this is a disadvantage of watching TV? I think everyone forgot about it because we don't don't show, see TV. So that why? Oh, that's right. You don't watch TV. <laughs> we don't. We don't watch TV, so that's why we, we forgot about it. It's cool, I think. Uh, okay. See, I have a small child, so I end up watching cartoons sometimes, and I have to be careful because I have to go and change when sometimes when advertisements come on. So that's the disadvantage, in my opinion, is advertisements. But why you don't show uh, him some cartoon from internet. Sometimes I do, but sometimes it's not always very convenient for me to do so. 
That's why. No, a lot of times we watch the internet, but sometimes even the internet has some with cartoons. So, <laughs> unfortunately. But, yeah. But I do usually put him with, maybe with the internet. And sometimes just for, t for the sake of time, I just use the TV only... No, kind of to save time in this situation. Yeah, but I'm I'm very careful about what he watches as far as which cartoons he's watching. I don't let him just watch any cartoons. Uh, I'm very very specific about those. No, I also have friend who has the same age. I think and. Uh, it's uh, always he uh, always choose what and uh, he always uh, change his uh, mind about some cartoons. One period he watch something, but and one day he uh, say I don't want any more watch this cartoon. I don't know why, but he changed his mind. Mm. Uh, only sometimes my son will be like, "Oh, it's a bad cartoon, mommy. I don't want to watch this one." So I turn it off. If something disturbs him. Okay, so Michael, you're back. So would you like to continue telling me, telling us what you were talking about? Uh, I, I want to say uh, there are a lot of different, uh, like well, uh, mm, or good making uh, programs, uh, foreign programs, but uh, uh, our. Uh, <laughs> Ukrainian channels ca cannot uh, buy it or don't want to buy it. Maybe it's interesting to translate it. And just translate, yeah. And uh, oh. uh huh. Okay. It's I've kind of disadvantages, uh, like okay. minimizing costs. Yeah. Okay. There are at least two programs that I know of that have been made and translated here. I think. One is um, something called stop light or traffic light. Maybe it depends. Uh, in in Russian, I've heard it's called Svetofor. It's a comedy type sitcom, but they also have an English version. And there's another one called Veronin here, and in English, it's called Everybody Loves Raymond. But it's practically the exact. Uh, exact same sitcom, just in a different language. But they did translate them here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, uh, of course, uh, uh, you know, uh, as I understand, only uh, BBC makes uh, uh, like um, TV shows, yeah, uh, on a different um, like special field, yeah, like art, like. Uh, and travel, I mean, uh, mm -hmm. they make it uh, like good, yeah. Yeah, the BBC has a lot of different things. Um, I'm just gonna write this name down. There's a an English book that sometimes I even use it. Um, sometimes with English students, it's called Speak Out, and I'm I'm just telling you the name of this book because in the book. We have different BBC clips um, for different uh, topics, and the the clip is usually like three or four minutes, but um, it's for a lot of different things, different situations. So it is it is good, um, good programming. Why not? And it's usually um, clear enough and maybe slow enough that those who are learning to speak English they can understand uh, it with with no problem. Uh, Marilyn, do you ever watch BBC programming? Sometimes, but usually um, some biography program or something like this. I, I prefer in read. Do you know it's some lesson, uh, English lesson? Mm. Uh, well, this is not really so much a lesson as much as just, no, Speak Out is just a book, I'm saying, but BBC usually has some good clips. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I watched some documentary movie or biography. Okay. And Alexander, what about you? Do you ever watch uh, BBC? Alexander, it's ball in your coat. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> no, Maybe uh, he's in the fog, Mary Lynn. <laughs> I uh, don't watch BBC. I watch Russia Today in English. And, and I listened, listened to... Uh, radio, maybe BBC, and something else. Oh, so you watch Russia Today in English? Yes. Oh, interesting. <laughs> and how do you understand it? Um, 50, 50. But, uh, you know, I, see, uh, I think it's uh, more simple. If you know the situation in Russia, yeah, uh, and after that, the uh, you uh, see it uh, like in English, yeah. It, uh, yes, I, I kill, I kill two rabbits. Uh, I get information, I get two news, birds. and to pe- to what? Birds. Birds. <laughs> yeah, meddling. Yes, yes, but <laughs> maybe he made up his own idiot, Maryland. I was gonna let him go with it, <laughs> but yes, it's usually two birds with one stone. Two birds, okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I uh, get uh, news and uh, try to listen to English speech. Okay. What is it Russia today? Sorry? What is it Russia today? It's, it's a Russian TV uh, about news in Russia. News? News? News, but not in only Russia. About in all world. Oh, okay. It's only news. Yes, it's usually only news, and sometimes it's uh, programs about lives in different uh, countries. Different. Okay, now I understand. Um, Alexander, are, are the, the people who speak English are they Russian people or native speakers? It can be Russian uh, and native and different. Mm-hmm. Okay, I was just curious. TV presenter is usually Russian, and other people can be uh, who inter- who they interview. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, uh, foreign people. Okay, no, I'm just I was just wondering. Okay, so the presenters are Russian. The TV presenters. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. So now let's talk a little bit about the internet. Do you know when the internet first started? Does anyone know? Michael, do you, any ideas when the internet first uh, started? Just started. Mm. Okay, but uh, I think uh, it, 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 uh, it depends on country because uh, yeah, may, maybe it uh, the uh, last years of eighties, uh, uh, like nineteen eighty nine, maybe or nineties. I think uh, uh, it start, uh, you know, like um, maybe global network in the, uh, 1990, near that year, and after that, the like, increase growing. You know? Okay, interesting. But actually, it started before then. Yeah, I know, but uh, mm-hmm. I mean, um, uh, you, you using. You know, uh, when a usual people can do it, not only uh, who works uh, in a special, you know, companies or uh, for work, yeah. Okay. Actually, the in. Go ahead, Alexander. I heard that military started uh, this network, and after that, uh, all people continue to use it. 
Mm-hmm. Actually, it started from like even the 1960s. You could use the internet, but not everyone. Like Michael said, it was more like maybe between universities. Yes, maybe military. And it became more widely in use, starting from like the early 1990s. Okay, when did you first get internet, Alexander? In 2003, when, in I, 2000. get, when mm-hmm. I get uh, the first computer, <laughs> I get the first internet. Uh, and did you have um, cable internet or was it dial-up? It was a GPS, and you know it's uh, using mobile phone. Ah, okay, okay. Uh huh. Oh, maybe you didn't have, maybe you didn't have dial-up service here. General packet radio service, something like that. I see. Okay. And Marilyn, what about you? When did you first start using the internet? I don't remember. I think it was in university. Okay. A long time ago, in 2007, 2008 years. I don't remember when. Okay. Date of okay. years. No, it's it's not a, not about exact date, just approximately. <laughs> okay, Michael, what about you? When did you first get the internet? Uh, hard to remember. Uh, uh, interesting question. <laughs> Maybe in uh, 1990, like six or seven or eight, maybe near that. I don't remember. Anything. When he was born? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, uh, the, the, the first, uh, uh, it's not uh, like a home internet, but uh, um, I started use from companies the internet yeah. so. uh, okay uh, my first internet service was through the telephone line you couldn't you had to make your phone line busy to dial into the internet yeah yeah and it was very slow <laughs> And actually, my dad hated it because you had to interrupt your phone service to have it. Some people would buy two, have two different phone lines just so they have one for internet and one for home use. Okay, but let's talk about it. Alexander, what are some of the advantages of the internet? Uh, Advantages, uh, uh, getting information just uh, and communication to it's the main so getting information yes communication with who uh, with uh, any people <laughs> who, who we want okay who, uh, who located uh, far from us okay all right as and just even right now during your english lesson i'm not near where you are so we use the internet, of course, yes, for conversation. Mm-hmm. Okay, Mary Lynn, advantages. From internet. Mm-hmm. You can work in the internet. Uh, you can choose what you want to see. You can learn in the internet, uh, I don't know, to get information when you need some, sometimes recipe, or maybe what you should do if you break your hand or leg, something, lots of information mm-hmm. people can find on the internet, so um, sometimes it's, you need, uh, uh, I don't know, really this information in this time that you can find it. And, uh, I don't know, sometimes also waste of time, people speak with each other in the internet, sometimes people play in game. Okay, we'll talk about the disadvantages in just a minute. (laughs) 
Michael, advantages of of internet. You can manage uh, all the uh, working question uh, from the distance. Uh, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. uh, on on the distance. Yeah, so mm -hmm. from a distance. From from the distance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, um, it's like. Uh, yeah, the main idea is uh, it's the speed. Uh, you can do it uh, all faster than uh, without internet. Yeah. Okay. So we talked about such things as communication is good, educational, yes, um, chatting with old friends, maybe um, online classes. Okay. What about shopping? Do you think the internet um, is there's an advantage of shopping on the internet? Yeah, it, 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 of course it's uh, advantageous because you can find uh, low price uh, or uh, maybe like specific uh, products or goods. Uh, so of course it's uh, advantageous. Okay. All right. All right. So, Mary Lynn, what's a disadvantage then of the internet? Sometimes it's uh, some internet play. You know, when people <laughs> play in these few years and uh, they only play and live on internet, and uh, sometimes it's really a <clears throat> waste of time because people. Uh, spend all time for social network or uh, I don't know do something useful and um, I, you know when I, I start uh, use social network I'm I'm really rarely see my friend so I, I can speak with them from uh, UK and I'm not not talk with them and very Really. Okay, so some people have like anti-social behavior, yes, after spending a lot of time on the internet, yes, anti-social. Okay, this is this is a disadvantage and it can become a problem. Okay, um, Alexander, what about you? Disadvantages of the internet. Disadvantages. It's the same as TV. Uh, it's kill our time if we don't use internet with useful and just playing games and watching videos. And, and we should pay money <laughs> for internet. Yeah, that's all. Okay. Uh, Michael, additional disadvantages. I think it's not uh, not a big money. Alexander, how much uh, does the internet cost? Uh, let me remember, five hundred troubles. Five hundred, like ten dollars. Mm. Yes. Uh, and uh, five hundred troubles in mobile phone. And in some, it's one thousand troubles. <laughs> uh huh. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's not so so big money. It's not big money, but it's money. <laughs> a lot, a lot of money. It's not a lot of money. A lot of money. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's a disadvantage over TV because TV is free. I think that's what Alexander wants to say. Yeah. Uh, it's free, but uh, maybe everyone used uh, cable TV, which are, uh, when you need uh, to pay, yeah, every month. Uh, yeah, but see, my TV and internet are on the same bill, and I was fortunate enough to have a friend who worked for the internet company. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how I got like a really good deal of maybe like 40 grivnas a month for my internet plus TV. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Until 2017. <laughs> it's uh, two dollars per month. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'm not bragging, Alexander. I'm just telling you I got fortunate. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, Marilyn, have you ever gotten a virus while using the internet? Mm, yes, of course, <laughs> it's impossible. If you don't have antivirus, uh, uh, I don't know, surf from the internet, but don't <laughs> get it. Okay, so would you? this would definitely be a disadvantage, yes? But uh, I think people have antivirus, so it's a big problem. Okay. Well, what about spam? Also, it can be fixed, but some uh, option. Okay. Okay. Was Alexander? Have you ever had the virus? Yes, I had once, and when I started it, uh, my my computer uh, turned off. He died, and I should uh, bring it to master. Okay, <laughs> um, to maybe the technician. Maybe. Yeah. Um, I I've heard this word recently. Now a lot of people use the word master. Now you're just translating probably from straight from Russian into English. Yes, mm -hmm. this word master. Mm -hmm. Uh, but usually we don't use the word master unless you have like a master's degree in something. You have like a a technician, um, like a computer technician, or um, a repair person. Okay. Even the person in your building, in your flats, if you live in in some. Uh, one guy used to say, oh, well, where's the master of your building? Okay, it's actually called a superintendent. 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 I'll write it. It's just called super in, for, um, in short. Okay, this is the man, and I don't know, maybe in some cases a woman, who, if there's a problem in your apartment building, uh, you call and they should come and help you fix something. Maybe something with your pipes. Uh, maybe it's not. Do you understand what I mean? You can translate it and Google if you like. <laughs> But I mean a superintendent of a building. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, now that we've talked about advantages and disadvantages of both TV and internet, Mary Lynn, which one would you say is better and why? Of course, I think it's internet. <laughs> because uh, you can choose and it's more useful, it has more uh, more advantages, more function, and you no, know, for me it's even uh, you, you can compare it to TV because it's uh, you it has only one function. That's why. Okay, all right, Alexander, do you agree with Mary Lynn? I completely agree with Mary. Yeah. Okay, would you like to add anything as to why you think the internet is better? Why internet is better? Um, it's more convenient to use to get information. In what way is it more convenient? You shouldn't wait when you when TV uh, said you something important. <laughs> you should you can just uh, uh, how to say to Google something and get it. Uh, okay. Uh, Michael, what do you think? Which which one do you think is better? Uh, I think uh, now TV uh, like uh, it's like a part of internet. No, it's if we uh, uh, 
choose the internet like one thing, uh, TV was uh, only part of this because you can uh, also see uh, the online um, on the internet, so to say, uh, uh, on air translations or how to say, uh, on air video, yeah. Uh, li live? Yeah. You mean? Yeah, maybe on air or live. Video, yeah. Yeah, live video. Mhm. Mm okay. But, uh, well, if it's on the part, of course it's uh, low, okay. low, low functions, uh, functions, and uh, uh, I I think uh, internet like uh, how to say uh, like. Um, not a track, but uh, you know we have a Russian uh, word uh, like eat uh, the TV. Uh, the internet eats the TV. Yeah, because uh, they they t take the f f all f functions they can do it. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. I think I understand what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you know, palliative. Maybe you hear it sometimes. Um, I can't say that I've heard this one. Mm -hmm. you know, when big company uh, buy new company. Buy out. Oh. No, no. Uh, like. Uh, 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 it eats it. Yeah. It like. <laughs> Um, there's maybe no real one official way of saying it, except buyout is usually in business. But when one company it like absorbs the smaller one, mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. Okay, true. Uh, I I understand. But yeah, without TV, you couldn't have live programming. You can't get anything live on the internet. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can uh, see all, all uh, the same programs in internet uh, because you you can find the special sites when uh, all the all, maybe from all over the world. Uh, mm. uh, well, I guess maybe that's possible. I forgot about that. I guess you can be live. It's not just yeah. recorded uh, programs. A, a, a lot of uh, people like uh, see football or box, you know, uh, they all the time try to find uh, the, uh, like, um, special sites when they can see. Yeah, the streaming sites. Yeah, streaming. streaming. Uh -huh. If you can find the streaming site, then I guess, yeah, I guess it is live. I never think about that, but that's true. Because one time I was watching a TV program here, and um, every time I missed it, I would just go on the internet and find it. Mm -hmm. And in some ways, the internet to me was more convenient because then I can skip the boring parts of what they're saying. <laughs> and yeah. just <laughs> it was just it was gold Ukraina, so it wasn't you know. The main uh, the another main disadvantage is like uh, advertising because uh, <laughs> when you. To uh, try to uh, like uh, change uh, the channels, yeah, all the time. But uh, of course, uh, you uh, can see a lot of uh, advertisement, uh, like uh, advertisements, yeah. Yes, advertisements. Uh, yeah, when you were missing for a short time, we talked about the fact of advertisements on TV, yeah. or what I thought was unusual. I was watching a TV program. And then the commercial, they had advertisements for like 15 minutes, and then the TV show <laughs> continued. And I thought you forgot what you were watching by the time the TV program comes back on. <laughs> yeah. All righty. So, you guys, that is the end of our discussion about TV and Internet. You guys all agree that the Internet is better. I need to find a, a topic that you guys really can disagree about, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I have to think. Or if you have an idea, something that you disagree, <laughs> I want you guys to have a debate. That's the whole idea is to debate something. <clears throat> what do you think about uh, 
maybe you disagree with something. <laughs> with something? Well, one uh, thing I... Yeah, I ask Mary because uh, she all time tries to find something like <laughs> problem. I, I disagree with you all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's just you, Michael. <laughs> you no, bring out the worst in her. <laughs> I think that you're wrong, but sometimes I agree with you, so I don't know what is perfect. Okay. Uh, I, I know. Okay. I disagree okay. about. Okay. Uh, lesson about me. <laughs> no, no, I disagree with about your opinion for Russian artist. Oh, okay. um, I remember what I disagree, but I, I think it's difficult. Uh, okay, Alexander, any ideas? About what? A debate, and we're not debating politics between Russia and Ukraine. That is not possible. <laughs> That's one topic no one talks about, so no. <laughs> yes, it's not possible. No. Yes. So, any other type of debate that you can think of? Uh, you, you let me uh, to think. Okay, <laughs> no, maybe. <laughs> maybe we can uh, debate. Uh, Using, um, for example, uh, buses or okay, using uh, different kind of transports, advantages and disadvantages. Actually, we did that not too long ago. Actually, maybe you were absent. Uh, oh, maybe, we, maybe we can do it uh, <laughs> in Alexander's field, like about the cars uh, and different uh, details. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe. Us, uh, that uh, our we, we don't understand all in, in this field, and uh, I know I know one topic for debate. It's not. It's it doesn't have an uh, end. It's a debate of, of uh, different uh, operation systems like Android and iOS. <laughs> oh, no. no. <laughs> I disagree with you. <laughs> Why we shouldn't talk about this topic. Because yes, because I also have a st uh, old uh, cell phone, and I don't have uh, no Android and Samsung like this. I'm like you, Mary Lindsay. My telephone, it's not smart <laughs> at all. Mario also, <laughs> my little bit smarter, but also doesn't. Smart. So I disagree also. Okay, it may may maybe um, yeah, advantages uh, or maybe differences. Uh, uh, in living in Russia and America. Where is it better? Where is it better? Yeah, it's interesting. For me. It could be an interesting topic for the fact that I know a Russian woman who came to America and she hated it. She went back to Russia. So yeah. anything's possible. Okay, yeah. Alexander, I know you're going to be on vacation, so we'll do this one like maybe in two weeks when you get back. <laughs> and uh, may maybe uh, Alexander uh, tell us about the uh, Crimea. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, this is his first time going to Crimea, so it'll be interesting to hear about it. So okay. Okay. Well, you guys all have a good night. Alexander, have a safe trip. Mm -hmm. Thank you. See you when you get back. Get a nice tan. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have to turn your camera on so we can see if you got tan or not. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you understand me? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Just making sure. All right. So have a good evening. See you guys next time. Good night. Bye-bye. Uh -huh. Bye-bye.